Hey everybody, it's Nikki, and I am here to do part three of my CGM comparison between the G6 Freestyle Libre Guardian G3, sorry, Guardian 3, um, Guardian Connect, and Eversend Sensionics. Um, I've said a lot in the first two videos. I don't want to repeat any of it, uh, so I'm not going to, and I would like this last piece to go way faster than the, the first two. Um, so I'm going to get to it. Okay, following capability. Um, this has to do with whether or not you can have people following your your blood sugar. Um, G6, yes, you can have followers. Um, they can view theirs on their phones. You can view yours on an Apple Watch. Um, you know, they have continuous readings. Um, it's got a good follower system. Libre, the the Libre one isn't a great follow sister system. Um, there's Libre Link which allows followers to access the most recent blood sugar reading at the last time you scanned, but it's not a continuous readout. Um, uh, Guardian 3, I don't think that there is any still. I know, you know, I still don't think there is. So if, that, if that's wrong and somebody wants to let me know, I'd appreciate that. Um, but as far as I know, I don't think there's followers yet. Um, Guardian Connect is a little bit different. They allow up to five care partners to receive SMS alerts through CareLink Connect. I don't know. I, I only wore it for a couple of weeks. I don't know whether or not um, there's any kind of continuous readout for somebody to follow or if they just get texts saying, you know, hi or, or something like that. Um, and Sensionix does allow followers to see events and alarms. Okay, uh, frequency of updated value. That just means how often does your uh, sensor update its reading? Um, G6, every five minutes. Libre, every minute, which is great for the over-caffeinated. Um, Medtronic, both of them are every five minutes, and Sensionics is every five minutes. Um, okay, insertion, ease, and comfort. This one is very, very subjective. Um, I did not like Medtronic's, you know, inserter. Um, I feel like, and then Sensionix gets a pass because Sensionix is, your doctor does it and it's one time. So it's so Sensionix is implanted. It's a one-time insertion. Um, Medtronic, you know, there's an inserter and everything and I'm not a big fan. I think, I think many of them hurt, um, but I can't say if that's true for everybody. For G6, I think sometimes... I don't feel anything at all, and I can't understand how I how there could be something in my skin. Um, and Libre is very much like that too. So I think probably the least painful is G6 than the Libre, um, you know. But again, that's very subjective. Okay, overall ease of use. So again, the signal, the charging, the calibrating, those are the things that I'm thinking about when I when I talk about this category. Um, the G6, I called it relatively low maintenance. Charging the reader every couple of days and remembering to keep in range are the biggest burdens. So basically kind of losing your signal or, or forgetting, well, you're not going to forget your pump. Those are the, I'm not going to side talk. Okay, but those are the biggest burdens. The Libre, um, I called this one, I think, the lowest maintenance. The only thing you have to do is charge the reader, um, and that happens approximately one time per a 14 day wear. Um, so you are gonna have to do that, um, but that's about it. Not really any kind of errors, no charge, no uh, calibrating, um, that's good stuff. Okay, the Guardian 3 I call moderate to high maintenance, and that is because I said difficult calibrations are burdensome. Um, the sensor will not provide a value without them. Uh, charging the transmitter is relatively easy, easy, requiring only a minimum of 30 minutes between sensors, um, and you got to replace the charger, the charger battery every few months. Um, the connect is very much the same thing, only with an improved calibration process. So um, I, oh, so no, sorry, not the same thing. I call that relatively low maintenance, and that is because there is an improved calibration process. Um, so. Basically, all you have to worry about is uh, charging the transmitter and working your way through whatever errors or whatever that, that, that might pop up. Um, Sensionix, moderate to high maintenance due to calibration requirements. Um, this was the, again, this technology, the technology is great. The company's going away, I think. Um, so I don't even know 
if it's worth talking about any of these things, but I will say that the, the, the accuracy was wonderful. Um, the level of maintenance was not. And so this is an important category for me um, because I typically do not have a hard time keeping, you know, keeping within a, a calibration schedule. But I wore this during the pandemic um, when it was first cut, you know, getting geared up. And I just didn't have whatever it took to continue to tend to these, you know, these requirements. Um, so at some point, it really kind of just became something that beeped occasionally and I didn't really get a lot of values from it. Um, so it was background noise. Um, so my final conclusion of the whole thing or my, my final analysis was that it wasn't a very good sensor. And then when I got back and got to look at how accurate it was, I was surprised but I realized it is, it is very accurate. It's just, you know, it's not whether or not I can handle it when I'm on top of my diabetes management. It's whether or not it can help me when I'm not on top of my diabetes management. Um, and this one was uh, in that section. It's a moderate to high maintenance um, due, to, due to calibrations and charging. Okay, can it be used for treatment? G6, yes. Um, the two exceptions are when the sensor, when there's a sensor error and when you're experiencing a rapidly changing blood sugar. Um, Libre, yes. Um, there's a couple of exceptions, but in general, this means that you can look at your sensor value and use it to um, for treatment, to do a bolus. Um, so G6 is a yes, Libre is a yes. Guardian 3 and Guardian Connect are both no. And that has been amazing because of the guard because of the Medtronic 670G, which has run off of the Guardian 3. So even though they're using that in order to run an algorithm, um, you are not allowed to. You're not supposed to look at your sensor and use that for treatment. Um, I'm sure that's going to be changed in the next uh, sensor. Um, and Sensionics, yes, with a couple of exceptions. Um, warm up, med, uh, G6, two hours. Libre, one hour. The Medtronic's two hours and Sensionics is very different, obviously because of 90 days of wear. It's 24 hours after implantation. That's the, that's the warm up followed by a 36 hour initialization phase. Um, applicator inserter, this kind of got to like how much waste and they, they all have kind of a lot of waste. Um, so G6 is disposable. That means that every time you get to throw this enormous thing away, Libre is disposable. It's a smaller, enormous thing. Um, the two Medtronic's are the inserters reusable. Uh, and there is none for Sensionics because the doctor does it. Um, tech capability, I'm soft in this area because I haven't really kept up, but I believe G6 connects to the smartphone um, to select insulin pumps and to the Apple Watch. Uh, Libre connects to its reader and to smartphones. Um, Medtronic, the Guardian 3 connects to a Medtronic insulin pump. The Guardian Connect does not connect to the pump. It does connect to a smartphone, and that's an Apple. I think it's only Apple at this time, or at least the last time I checked. Um, and Sensionics connects to a smartphone and to Apple Watch. Um, and the last category is insurance, and that is, from my understanding, um, G6 can either be a DME or pharmacy. DME is durable medical equipment. Um, or pharmacy benefit, meaning that you can go fulfill, you can go fill your prescription down at the pharmacy, or you can order it um, and have it count as a DME. Um, uh, Libre is only a pharmacy benefit. Um, Medtronic currently is only DME, and Sensionics is only pharmacy. Um, Eight thousand minutes, but I'm done, and I hope everybody has an awesome. 2021 in case they don't make it back. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.